This video will show you how to make range charts of taxa once you already have the max and min ages for each taxonomic group. See my other video, the URLs at the bottom of the screen, to learn how to do this first part using the Paleobiology database. So from occurrence data that looks like this, with taxa names, rank, and a max and min age for each occurrence, uh, once you do the pivot table analysis from my other video, you'll end up with a table that looks like this, where you have names, the max age for each genus in this case, and the min age. And you want to make sure that you're sorted by min age here, so you can click on a little arrow and click ascending. If you don't see the little arrow, go up to data and click filter, which will turn on and off. Um, you have to have it selected. Turn on and off your little arrows. So min ascending. Okay, now we're going to make a new column called range, and range is going to be just what it sounds like, the range of each um, genus. So for this it's going to be our max age, which is B2, minus our min age, which is C2. And so for this taxon, which is still alive, its range is about 23 million years. And we're going to click on that bottom right hand corner of the cell, and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And so now we see we have the ranges of all of these different um, cetacean genera here. Okay, now we can make our graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a stacked bar chart that's horizontal and we're going to do that selecting the minimum and the range. So click on C, hold down command and click D. And then we're going to go to insert and we're going to use this stacked bar here. And it's going to look kind of funny. Um, and so basically what we're seeing here is the orange is showing us our range data and the blue is basically forcing the range data over to start at the minimum age. And so the orange turns out to be the first appearance and last appearance of each of our genera. But we don't want the blue here, we want it to disappear. So we're going to control click or right click on the blue. We're going to go to format data series, the paint bucket, fill, and we're going to go no fill. And so now we have this nice looking range chart for all of the cetacean genera. But of course the axis is in the wrong order. We have the present on the left, we like the present on the right. So control or right click on the x axis. Um, didn't, that didn't quite work. Here we go. F go to Format Axis down at the bottom. And under Axis Options, you're going to scroll down until you see Values in Reverse Order. Click on that. And there we go. We have the ranges of all of our cetacean genera. Now the names aren't here um, because, well, there just isn't enough room for them over on the y-axis. But you can see trends in terms of um, when genera um, go extinct or when they have their last appearances. If you ordered this by um, a different, by max instead of min, then um, like so, you would get a different view that would more clearly show you originations as opposed to extinctions. It just depends on what you're interested in. And there you go. That's how you make range charts using max and min data from the paleobiology database in Excel.